we have direct employment and indirect employment, as you have heard me say that. The other thing is to improve the nutrition of our animals. Uh, I have more than uh, four sub-counties that really keep animals and that will really improve uh, their nutrition. And as I can tell you, we as a county, we are also working hard to improve the, the breed of our animals because most of the animals we have here, uh, we have milk and we also have the beef uh, animals. So it is really going to work well for our farmers. We have enough land we can, uh, where he, he can get, engage our farmers from 10 acres to 300 acres to 1,000 acres to help him uh, plant the feed for the animals. So it's a great opportunity for the people of Machakos and we want to get this opportunity, to grab this opportunity uh, so that we can improve also the livelihood of our farmers and our animals. Most of the industries are coming here now. We have a lot of industries. When you walk around, you see a lot of industries coming up. So that has not really been a problem in Machakos corruption. We are said it's a corruption-free zone. And we tell our investors, yeah, uh, if they have any problem, even the office of the governor is open for them to come. And that's what we have had so many. Every year, you see us commissioning, whether low-cost housing here, whether uh, industries coming up, factories, we are doing that because we have given a conducive environment for people to do business here. By the time I live now as a governor, I would want to have even more industries here. The bottom line is to create a conducive environment for them to do good business and us working in collaboration with the national government and with the line ministries, ministries we will ensure that our investors are well taken care of. The groundbreaking here that we have witnessed with the hues is really evidence of the positive investment climate that President Ruto's government has created. Uh, we are constantly attracting investors into our country to set up manufacturing plants, to set up various businesses that will create jobs and create wealth in our country. So I want to start by really thanking the Hughes for coming into Kenya, for coming into Machakos and choosing to invest uh, in this area, which as the governor said, is really going to improve the economy of this area. Like I said, it's a deliberate effort that we are doing to attract investors. We are creating incentives for investors to come in, both local and international investors, because we understand under this era of economic transformation, only the investors in the private sector are going to be able to create wealth. We chose today uh, this groundbreaking ceremony here in Kenya because we see great prospects for our company and for animal livestock feeding in Kenya in, in particular. We believe that uh, <clears throat> the animal sector will grow in uh, Kenya, the population will grow, and more nutritional, affordable, healthy food is needed for the country. And we can play a role in, 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 in providing that uh, to the Kenyan population by giving them, uh, the, the, by giving the farmers the proper feed and helping them uh, to develop and grow their farms.